Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm having a great day and today's video is actually my what I got for Christmas 2019. Now I was aware that I had uploaded this last year um, and when I came across it the other day I was like how has that not been uploaded because it's one of the videos that everyone looks forward to all year round and <laughs> I don't even know how I forgot about it. Um, so yeah I thought I'll upload it just now and that gives you a what I got for Christmas a new one to watch before the what I got for Christmas 2020 arrives on the channel and um, obviously this is only November the now but when you see it it should be December 1st or 2nd and yeah I hope you still managed to enjoy this even though it was last year and um, just a quick disclaimer obviously I'm not bragging about what I got I am forever grateful and so lucky um, and I can't honestly believe it. But just to talk about the thumbnail quickly. The thumbnail is a picture of me, my mum, Ellie and Ellie's mum. I won't announce this in the video but basically me and Ellie both bought our mum's trips to New York. And we were meant to go in September this year of 2020. And obviously due to the COVID-19 pandemic, lockdowns, everything was cancelled. We didn't get to go and we got our money back. But that was basically me and Ellie's Christmas gift to our mums. Us four were meant to go to New York. Meant to see a show on Broadway, it was just meant to be so good and obviously we couldn't go but hopefully we get to go one day in the future but I just wanted to add that in so basically so you know what um, you could have seen this year basically uh, so yeah sorry it's super late and I hope you still managed to enjoy it. let me know what you got for last year's Christmas if you can even remember or just tell me what you're hoping to receive this Christmas and of course like any of my other videos you don't have to watch if this isn't what you are into if you don't want to see what people got for Christmas if it's a video that you don't like then you don't have to watch it but for those who always ask me to do one every year and I love sharing them and I love to see what other people got so yeah enjoy I guess <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, I hope you're having a great day and this is the start of the festivities I guess. This is my What I Got For Christmas 2019 edition. Um, obviously you won't see this till it's Christmas but because I met up with my friend Lindsay for our annual gift exchange um, I'm just going to show you what Lindsay got me so that I don't um, forget the time Christmas comes, like forget to include it because it'll be in my room so long. I don't know if this makes any sense. But yeah, so it's actually three o'clock in the morning on Monday 9th of December. I met up with Lindsay on the 8th of December. Obviously, because I didn't see it at three o'clock in the morning. But yeah, so before I start, I just want to say I got my first my first Christmas card from um, I'm in a group chat and it's like we're all in deck vans. So this was from lovely card from Sophie so uh, thanks so much Sophie I love it um, and now on to what right my mum gave me an early one so I'm just going to show you that first right she gave me in this bag that I've folded perfectly which I love right it's great so I got it in that bag first of all and she is a massive um, dream chaser parmaviolet shimmering gin liqueur Shake me to wake me. I'll explain that in a minute. Um, and it is great. It's opened because I had a few glasses tonight whilst watching the Anna Celebrity Final. Um, so chuffed with who won it. Jacqueline deserved to win it. Not who I wanted to win it. I wanted Andy to win it. But I'm chuffed. He was runner up. So it's fine. So if you noticed it's a bit shimmery but all it's lying at the bottom. So then if you go like, this is entertaining. Never did I thought we'd see this in 2019 now. Well, anyway, so there you go. And it tastes exactly like Parma Violets. <laughs> so satisfying. So that was an early kind of Christmas present. Um, Oh, the Clodo's overtaking the camera, usual. Right, Clodo move. 
So that was an early Christmas present. Yes. So now on to what Lindsay got me. First we'll start with the card, obviously. It's a 3D card and it says, Wishing crazy friends a crazy Christmas. Go off the present, please. Wishing crazy friends a crazy Christmas. And it's just... Sorry if that annoyed MD. Um, it says, to April, Merry Christmas, have a wild time, love Lindsay. So that's another Christmas card we've got. And in one of my Christmas presents had this little tag and I thought it was too cute not to keep because also I'm a huge Disney fan which Lindsay knows and it's really pretty so I kept it and it just all has to April Merry Christmas. Love Lindsay. Love it. Just wee things like that I love. So one of my presents was this and I just thought the packaging was really really cute as well. It's like a wee basket. So even once I take the stuff out I can like pop photos in it or like pens and just use it for things like that. Don't you attack that bag, missies. Um, so yeah, and it's just a bath and body kind of set, which was really nice. Love it. So a bit there. The next thing Lindsay got me is in this bag. Now, for those who don't know and can't tell, I am Scottish. I know, who would not Get out that box. I love my cats, I promise. But yeah, for those who can't tell, I am Scottish and I am brew as my favourite drink in the whole entire world. Full fat Iron Brew. Until Jamie Oliver cut the sugar tax and it's just, it went, oh my goodness, I'm trying to film you. Move. Move. Move, move, move. Right, move. Okay, we're going to have cuddle. Right, no we're not. So, sorry about that. <laughs> we will get through this, yeah. Jamie Oliver cut the sugar tax basically and Iron Brew went to rubbish so and then the iron brew announced that they were doing full fat iron brew back again for christmas so lindsay got me a bottle <laughs> i've had four bottles of this already and it is literally the best thing honestly so when you got me a scotland you need to try iron brew probably won't get the original but do try iron brew it's you will not Regret it. So that's that. And the last thing and my favourite thing ever um, is this. Came in this. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll have already seen this. But it is a signed photo frame by Ant and Deck, my two favourite people ever. I can't. I love it. And I'm planning on doing my room up next year, so this is going to go grey on my wall. So yeah, look! <laughs> so exciting. So this is everything. So thanks so much, Lindsay, for my gifts. I love them all. I hope you liked yours. And yeah, next time I see you should be Christmas Day, but we'll wait and see. Bye! Well, not going to be bye. It's going to be like weeks for me and like two seconds for you. I also got two more Christmas cards. This one, um, which is a really cute penguin on it. And this one is from my friend Jillian. And then my other one I got, which is from Germany. So it's so cool. Oh, hello, Elsa. Um, this one, uh, I think that says Happy Holidays in German. And this is from my friend Isabel. Um, be sure you guys prefer to call. She goes by the name of Isa. Um... Yeah, happy holidays. And I just thought that was really super cute. So that is two more festive cards. Elsa, are you pleased? Do you like them? Do you like them? Do you like them? Okay, so every time I film the previous clips, I'm like, oh, I'll see you next time. Next time I see you at Christmas or Christmas Day or a Boxing Day. And it's not. It's currently the 20th of December. So five days till Santa comes. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, we're, we're working our way through the advent calendar, which is great. Um, so I got some, like, chocolates and things like that from, um, my, the kids at work. So, oops. So that's that. Well, I'm now finished at work of one of my jobs for 
until like, the 6th of January, so that is good. But I've got a few more Christmas cards that I want to show you, and then me and Nicole done our Christmas exchange. I'll move over a bit so we can admire the tree. Our uh, annual Christmas exchange gifts kind of thing. So I've got what Nicole got me to show you as well. But before we do that, let's speak about the cards that I have also received since the last clip. Um, one of my friends I met through becoming a fan of Ant and Deck. Well, a public fan of Ant and Deck, if that makes sense. I've always been a fan. Um, she lives in Switzerland and Mel was kind enough to send us a little Christmas card and some Swiss chocolate. So it's like gold, silver, red, blue, um, which were lovely then, like you hearts. And I just thought that was so cute. Uh, I put a picture of Ant and Deck that was like a sticker in the Christmas cards and Mel sent us chocolates. So that was lovely, thanks very much Mel. Um, me and my dad had one and I'll eat the rest soon. What is this? Bit of this. Okay. And the next card I received was from um my good friend Julie, who is also a fan of Ant and Deck, and yeah, I received that as well. So thanks very much, Julie. Okay, so on to what Nicole had got me. Nicole bought me these and I'm showing them now so that I can open them because I'm obviously not gonna keep them in the boxes the now once I show them. So me and Nicole exchange gifts was it Monday night? Monday the sixteenth of December. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so Nicole got me a box of Maltesers as well, which I don't have to show because I ate. Whoops. Um, but she also got me this um, cupcake. It's hollow. Love that. And um, they're all bath fizzers. So I just thought that was really cute. So I got that. And I also got this, like, people call it a makeup bag, but I use them as pencil cases or, like, travel bags for, like things that could leak like lotion, lotion, body lotion, what else can leak, shampoo, conditioner, things like that, that's what I use them for. So I got that, which I love, so thank you. And the last thing Nicole got me was this travel mug with touchscreen gloves set. Um, yes, yeah, I'm not a Double walled to keep your drink hot, silicone lid, conductive threads, use smartphone tablets without taking your gloves off, use with any touchscreen device. So there you go. Um and that'd be great for putting my hot chocolate in in the mornings and things like that, or if I'm just um using it for just as well. So that was that. Let's open it. Whoa. Oh, there's the mug there. There's the mug there. It's ceramic. Um, silicone and it just has daydreaming on it. And then I've also got gloves. Gloves! That I'm literally going to defo break through. This is so joke. Oh my goodness. Oh, I've lost it. Right, okay. So, and I've also got, ow, gloves, which will be good um, because I'm not finished up my other job yet and I've got, I'm working there tomorrow, so this will be good to put, to wear on the way to work, I suppose. So yeah, I am so excited. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. So yeah. That's what Nicole got me for Christmas, which I love. Um, I've still to gift exchange with my friend Caitlin, my friend Amy and my friend Ellie. So, still to do that, um, but I probably won't see them until after Christmas now. So the next haul you see should be Christmas Day or Boxing Day where I'm showing you what I got then and that's it i think we're done after i think right now i think i'm done i don't think i'm missing anything i don't think i forgot anything but yeah definitely the next time you'll see me will be in one setting but it'll be like five or six days from now yeah so see you in the next clip which should be the last time 
Christmas Day or Boxing Day. Merry Christmas, Al. <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. Um, I can't believe this is finally Christmas Day. Well, it's it's one o'clock in the morning, so it's technically it's Boxing Day. But I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. Um, and always remember, it's always about who's around the tree and not what's under it. I am really, really grateful for all the gifts that I received. So thank you so much. Um, if you got me, a, if you sent me a card, I love the card. I know I've probably not shown every card, but I'm super grateful for them all. And um, the money I received as well, and especially the gifts too. It's overwhelming. But yeah, I've also got my festive top on. Sat and deck the halls. So we're feeling Christmassy. But before we get into the presents and stuff like that, just want to start by saying the Christmas Eve bag is always always a tradition. Um, and in that bag, I received um chocolate orange. Uh, barbecue Pringles, four cans of passion fruit martini, which is an alcoholic drink, guys. So eighteen and up for before I say I get promoted alcohol, I don't. So eighteen and up, um, for alcoholic drinks, and of course it's not Christmas Eve without some pajamas. So they're the bottoms of it, and then we have the top, which I adore. It says. Who needs presents when you have me? So, just got that. So that was Christmas Eve box. And I love it. So before we dive into the present stuff, I'm going to start with what my friends got me and get that out. Like, out the road first. And then we can focus on other things as well. Um, I don't mean that bad, by the way. So, what... Right, what Caitlin got me was she kind of put the candy cane on one of the wrappings, so a candy cane, which I love, who doesn't love a candy cane, and I've also got some fragranced pink fizz bath fizzer, which we love a good bath fizzer, um, and I also received this beautiful mug that says, do not disturb, I'm very busy relaxing, with some bath salts and hand cream, which is gorgeous, so I love that as well, so thanks very much, I also, oh, also received unicorn lip balms, which I um, love a lip balm and some soap oh that I've kind of dropped the box earlier um, soap cupcake collection so I got all that from Caitlin so thanks so much to my friend Caitlin who kindly bought me the gifts um, and then my friend Ellie who gave me this little bag Caitlin did also give me a bag but I don't know what I've done with the bag um, uh, it says happy everything and no it doesn't it says happy Christmas and a merry everything so I love the bag thought it was super cute um, and Ellie got me some caramel nibbles that I kind of ate and some peanut M&M's so peanut M&M's caramel nibbles and Terry's chocolate orange are my three favourite chocolates so got me them which as you can tell I didn't eat Um also have a Christmas card in here, wait a minute here guys, we're on to a winner, um, that was from Lin uh, Lindsay, Ellie's mum Lindsay, and this is from Ellie, which is just super, super cute, I can't actually work cards, so that was super cute of them, so there you go, some cards, also, <laughs> oh that's mum and dad's card, she, uh, me, Ellie also got me a London journal because me and Ellie love London and we also go next month so love it but it's not just any journal it's kind of like all the different questions to answer like ice cream counters that satisfied my sweet tooth best ice cream experience most unusual ice cream flavour I tried tip try on un delicious in Islington or Gelteria BIS in Borough Market Again, I've probably said all that wrong, but I apologise. Most beautiful adorned barges I saw. Try the lighter man in King's Cross or number 90 in Hackney Wick. Not got a clue what any of that is, but yes, yeah, so I've been excited to fill that out over the upcoming trips to London that I have. So there we go. And Ellie also got me some Scoobies because we were talking about it. And I didn't even know you could buy them anymore. So we we're talking about it and she's like, oh... I've not done them in years. Um, and I was on neither, but I could never start them. 
And she's like, oh, it would be pure good if you could see them again and, like, try. So I was like, we were just talking about it and she ended up getting with them, which is hilarious. So I'm going to have to have a bash at doing scooties and pretend I'm eight again. And Ellie also got me these cute koala fluffy slippers. Um, which I absolutely love and adore and they're super furry and things like that and it's like soft so yeah love them thanks very much and then the last two things Ellie got me were these two body mists uh, one in the scent summer rain and one in the scent spellbound which I love the both smell of both of them so that is amazing Um, so that's what Ellie got me so thanks Ellie uh, my cousin Lauren and my big cousin Lauren and her boyfriend Dave bought me this lovely watch. This beautiful rose gold watch, which I absolutely adore. So thanks very much, guys. Um, and my neighbour who kindly got me a little gift as well came in this little cute Christmas a llama bag. Or I'll pack it. I think it's a llama, but I know some people have different, so. Um, which came in a cute little gift, like, tissue wrapped. And it was some lip glosses. And this shade Air Kiss, Juicy Apple, Sorbet, Rose Water and Pinot. Um, so there you go. So, thanks very much. Um, I've, I've definitely forgot something. Can I just say that? I've definitely 100% forgot something. But we're going to go with the flow. Um, also, before I continue, my wrapping paper was Ant and Deck. It says, Merry Christmas, April. Love, Ant and Deck. And so I had to keep that, of course. So it's Ant and Deck. And then some of them were wrapped in the hollow as well. So that was some of the wrapping paper that I just wanted to keep because I was, was personalised and things like that. So yeah, and then my auntie got me, she gave, she got me some scratch cards and she also gave me money along with this um, 25 hilarious party games for sensible adults and it's um, a drinking game. It includes a game book, two beer pong balls, four shot glasses, two dices, double sided game spinner um, and playing cards. Um, this is 18 plus by the way, like I said, alcohol and things like that. Um, which is cracking, I've not opened it yet, but it is amazing, this lifts out, and then you've got your, so that's that comes out, you've got the double sided spinner, double sided spinner, and then the, the book, which is actually amazing, so, yeah, I actually loved that, and it was such a unique gift, like, obviously, because I don't, you would never th think of buying something like that, I wouldn't think. Like, I, well, I've never received a drinking game, so I thought that was cool. So, <laughs> that will be probably getting used. <laughs> um, we'll definitely get used at some point. And then my a good friend of the family, we've been in the family for years kind of thing, got me these gifts, which was some bath, like a bath set like a bath set which is beautiful um which came in a tin as well which is good like a good storage tin for when you take all the stuff out as well also got me a yankee candle candle gift set thing as well um and beautiful earrings from warren james which are really lovely oh that lovely i'm dropping them oops sorry they're, their crystals are from Swarovski and they're just rose gold earrings. Um, to let you understand, I don't... I had my ears pierced when I was young, like three or four. And then I had to sleep plaster over them and I've got the back of an earring stuck in my ear. It's in my right ear. It's been there since I was like, I don't know, four or five or probably younger than that. So... I'm, there's talks about me getting it like have it go to the doctors and having to get it like slit out and get my ears re pierced and stuff like that but um yes yeah, so it was a lovely gift anyway so thanks very much Sharon Stevie and the kids um and next uh, I, 
always get one of these every year. Love a link set. So I got the link set as well. Um, I got some Nutella because who doesn't love Nutella? And the fact it's mini jars, cutest thing ever. So I got that. Uh, I also got my favourite perfume, which is Jean Paul Gaultier, which is in the nice wee Christmassy box, which I did open because I used it today, but there you go. And it just comes with some body lotion and a perfume. And perfume. So I also got that. And then next, I'm gonna, let me just try and lift them over. Oh! And I also received a Galaxy, one, also one of my favourite chocolates. So, yeah, I've got a Galaxy bar as well. And I've got a few bits and bobs here, which is kind of like stationery. Um, and it says, I didn't even know like this was released kind of thing. This is by Fern Cotton, a happy place, I'm assuming the range is called. And it says, do the things you love and love the things you do do. A beautiful watercolour kind of theme to it. But like, it's all therapeutically done, if you get what I mean. Like, it's all hundreds of different pages to colour in and draw and little quotes and all that all throughout it. And it's just amazing, like, there you go. And some of it is actually like a writing page or like a drawing page. And it's just amazing. So I love that. Um, And I also got what this is. Bath soak, raspberry and cream by Skinny Dip. And it says bubble trouble. But I love the fact that it's in a milk carton kind of thing. Like an, like an old style milk carton. Just thought that was really cool. So I love that. Um, Another thing I received was also... A, a range I didn't know existed by Giovanna Fletcher, which I believe is Tom Fletcher from McFly's wife. Could be wrong, but I think it is. And it says, start each day with a grateful heart. Gia Giovanna Fletcher, gratitude journal, A5 journal and postcards. And I just thought that was really cool. Like, it's just like start of the week and end of the week goals. Kind of what did you accomplish and things like that. And little quotes and things. And I just thought... Love it, and there's your postcards. Are they? Oh, here's me trying to work some postcards. Well, wow. this is going great. Oh my goodness, I didn't even see this earlier. So, we've got some postcards. That's the four postcards, which are quite cool. And then on the back of it, obviously, it's just a, a postcard. But that one of the one of them says, "Your smile goes a long way." Have I said thank you yet? I've been wait I've been writing a list of things I'm thankful for and you were on it. Happiness looks amazing on you. That's really cute actually, I love that. So Giovanna Fletcher. Inspiring words from Giovanna herself, space to express gratitude, pages to reflect in the previous month, rewarding exercises and gratitude postcards. That's what it includes in this little journal thing. So that's really cool. Love that. Um by the same lady I also received magnetic notepad and it's right where I want to be but spelled as in like right where I want to be um, which is cool because obviously I'm busy <laughs> um, and it'll also help me keep on track of a great schedule throughout next year hold me to that word by the way uh, and I also got this which I thought was really cool because my friend Lindsay's got the the makeup book of it whereas I've got the notepad burn book from Mean Girls it's just an A5 notepad um, and I, I thought it was cool, I love it um, Mean Girls is one of my favourite movies so yeah I love it and Lindsay's got the makeup version and to keep me on the topic of mean, mean Girls I also got the Body Mist and it's a Sweet, So Fetch and Sassy I think it's Sassy, So Fetch and Sweet that's the order I think but um, they all smell divine I had took them out of the box earlier and smelled them it's and they're all shimmery as well, which I love because I've obviously got a beautiful day. One that Lindsay got me for my birthday. That's like shimmery as well, so I love that. So, we are coming to an end. I still haven't seen a few family members because we just had, we just, some couldn't, some of my family couldn't get off work and things like that. So I haven't seen a few of my, I haven't seen a few of my family members. So some of my gifts aren't included, but I did get money and cards and gifts and all that but yeah 
now to go on to my two main gifts. Really, really big gifts this year, guys. Um, the first main gift I opened was my Apple Watch. So I've just have the black sport band, um, which is the one I wanted. So that's cool. I didn't really ask for anything this year, guys. And it's this is the Apple Watch Space Grey Aluminium Case, 44mm and it's Series 5. Um, so that is the Apple Watch there. It's not in it because I took it out and set it up and like, used it and all that, but it just comes like that. And your wee clock face is there. And you get a charger with it and all that. So that was my Apple Watch, which the Apple Watch is actually here. And then obviously you just... It's got Ant and Deck, there's a surprise. And it's just like a black silico silicone um, watch. So, yeah. But I had to take it off because I was filming a video and obviously you didn't know I had owned a, a, an Apple Watch. So, the other thing Laura and her boyfriend got me that I couldn't show you there because I hadn't told you my main gift. Now guys, this is what I broke my heart at. Um, my driving test was meant to be on the 16th of December, but it was cancelled due to ice and I've been rescheduled as a priority for February 2020. I'm not going to say the date, but I'm rescheduled for February, but I'm hoping for a cancellation before then. Um, but my parents <laughs> um, bought me a car. <laughs> I got an Audi A1 Silver 16 plate. Um, petrol, I think. Petrol, it's an S line, um, sport back and things like that, and I just added some of my key rings to it, some of my key rings to it, um, and I added the red cover to it. That actually, what well, didn't come with the key, and it's just the key. So I've got the red cover as well. So the other thing, by the way, that wasn't from Lauren and Dave. They bought me the the, air, the carrier freshener, um, which I also did get an other carrier freshener, which is like a unicorn stuff. But I left it in the car because I, I wasn't expecting to film this tonight. But I thought we'll do it. And that's it done. But yes, it is dark, but I won't end this now. And tomorrow I will show you the car and things like that. And it was had balloons and I was crying and all this. So yeah, I was amazing. Obviously, I can still drive it now. And things like that as long as like my mum um, or my dad but the problem more likely going to be my mum um sitting sits in the passenger seat and i can drive about with l plates and all that till i pass so that's great um and yeah i'm now the owner of an audi a1 s line what so <laughs> i can't believe it to be honest it's still not sunk in yet but uh yeah so i'll show you my car and that tomorrow but it'll be a few seconds for you guys um and yeah so that is what i got for christmas but i like i said i'll end it tomorrow in the car in my car what <laughs> so um yeah i'll see you tomorrow and by tomorrow i mean like one second for you <laughs> so i'm just going to show you my car now just before the rain has just started so that's it there I had the big bow on it. This is it here and obviously that was all filled with balloons. Some of the balloons were like in this seat as well. Um, S line and the glove box which is just here. Which is quite spacious. I've just got a bunch of rubbish in there to be honest. Like cable documents and things. This balloon here that says Merry Christmas was round my left wing mirror. And as well, which got like a light there, and it is the exact same on the other side. Um, but yeah, I, I love it. I do really love it. <laughs> Thinking of getting like um, putting my GoPro mount on and stuff like for carpool karaoke and like car vlogs and drive throughs and ah, oh my god, it's so exciting! Like I own a car. What the hell is going on? Um, I own a car. I also got. Ant and Deck like life size cardboard cut out that my friend Amy got me, but it's at her house and I haven't seen Amy yet. So that as well to receive, but you'll see it in like upcoming vlogs and all that, so that's fine. But yeah.
this is my car. Once I drive about the car more and when I pass my test and things like that in the new year, um, hopefully, my test is in February but I'm hoping for a cancellation before then, but we're going to get air plates on it and we're going to drive about at the moment with my mum in the passenger seat. <laughs> So, I can't wait, I'm really excited and I can't wait for the future car vlogs and stuff like that as well. But I will do a full car tour once I know more about the car itself because like I said, I'm just learning as well and yeah, it's petrol. But if that means if all, all the car people out there, it is petrol and yeah, that's probably all I know at the moment but <laughs> we love that. It did obviously come a manual, but it wasn't in the glove box, it's in the house, just in case MD, any of the Eagle Dyed viewers noticed. Um, and yeah, I don't really know much else to say, because I don't want to get into too much detail, because I will do a car tour, like I said. But, I own an Audi. What is going on? Um, yeah, I'm obviously really, really grateful, and... So yeah, that was my 2019 what I got for Christmas. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to comment down below what you got for Christmas. And if you don't celebrate, then I hope you had a lovely day anyway. But yeah, I hope everyone had the best Christmas and they all got what everyone wanted. And yeah, this has been absolutely insane. Um, and yeah, not bragging at all guys, I'm very, very grateful for everything that I have received. Um, so yeah and plus I've done this every year since I started YouTube so it's kind of like a tradition now almost but yeah really grateful and I'm going to stop rambling on but I hope you got what you wanted and had a great day if you didn't celebrate it anyway but if you enjoyed well, I'm going to have to do this again aren't I if you enjoyed be sure to smash the thumbs up button comment down below what you're doing for Christmas and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos that are coming up and I will see you soon and I promise 2020 is going to be a more exciting and better year for my YouTube channel and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to just take it up a notch, okay? We're going to go all out. This is me getting excited because I have a car, calm down. So, but yeah, I'm going to try and like, I've got, I'm going to come up with a schedule, I'm going to stick to it, I'm going to do it, we're going to, we've got to have some commitment here, okay? So I promise that's coming soon, but yeah. I don't know what to say. Bye. See you next video.